So you guys move in together. Uh, Post pandemic, you've only been dating for two months and it's eight months later and you still really like each other. That is so great. Wow. What's the thing that you like the most about living with him? About living with him? I think just that he is so accommodating to me and so sweet. Mm. Like he still like almost like waits on my hand and foot, but not in like a annoying doormat way in like a gentlemanly, really nice way. So for example, if I'm in a recording like this and I'll look at him and be like, he'll take my water bottle, he'll fill it up. He'll bring it back to me. Like he just, you know, he always like wants to make sure that I'm good. And he's just, he really is such, and, and it's funny because I haven't ever lived with a, a man, but I have like had like, you know, guys that I've dated sleep over like four times a week and they weren't even living with me and I would get annoyed with them. Um, but I live with him and he, he's really, I mean, right. And we're so similar in so many ways. Like we're both kind of like anal about having things out and this and that. And so we're on the same page. Like we're not petty with each other. We're very, um, we're just like willing to, and, and maybe it's just like being one year in, you know, but it's just, we're still in that phase where we're like, we just want the other person to be happy. So if that means like we're doing all the dishes for the other one, like who cares? Yeah. Let me tell you, um, my husband, will do the same thing. Like he'll peek, peek, poke his head and he'll go, are you on TV? Like, cause I'm, you know, I, I'm often recording, but I also have uh, zoom sessions with clients. Um, cause I'm a writing teacher and, and, and I'll just go like this to him. I'll just go. And he'll make me, a, 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 he'll make me a vegan burger and like, just pass it to me. And that's so, amazing. I know. And I, I, I always hesitate to tell people this, but when I, when I know the person I'm telling is this is in a happy relationship, I feel like I can say it. My husband brings me coffee every morning in bed. Yeah. And it's so funny. I always, I mean, that's how you know that you guys have something amazing. And another way to know, and I'm sure you can relate to this is like, when you are almost downplaying how great your relationship is, when your friends are like complaining about theirs, you know, like they're like, Oh my God, my husband's the worst. And you're like, yeah, mine's, mine's annoying too. Like my girlfriends (laughs) always want to have like a girl's night. They're like, I just need to get away from him. And I'm like, same, but like, I really don't. (laughs) Same fingers crossed behind your back. I know. I know. I I say to him often, I'm like saying, I, I always say, you spoil me rotten. He said, no, I spoil you just like you're supposed to be spoiled. And this is, I mean, now I don't want you to think, Lindsay, we haven't had our ups and downs. We absolutely yeah, of have. Course. You, you can't, you can't be together for 30 years and have two kids and not have ups and downs. You know, I mean, when we right. met, you know, we've grown up, we've grown up, but we've made it through together. So that's been amazing. I mean, okay. So the best thing about it is how sweet he is and, and thoughtful and the, has there been anything that that's been hard about living together? Um, hmm, I would say just like in, so there was a moment there where, you know, his friends are mostly single and my friends are mostly married or in serious relationships. And so there was a point in time in the pandemic where my friends were extremely strict about seeing people and his mm-hmm. were extremely lax And so he could see his friends all the time and I could never see my friends. And I'm like this independent, like, I just like, I love my friends. And so I was kind of reverted to like this, like loser who didn't have friends where he had like all the friends and I was getting annoyed. Like I was like, like, I'm just sitting at home and I never that girl. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm popular. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Like I'm a Libra. (laughs) Hello. People like uh, me. <laughs> exactly. And I just, I couldn't, like, I was getting really annoyed and I was feeling sort of like depressed and insular. Mm, and, yeah. you know, then finally last weekend, like we had gotten tested negative. We were able to see my married friends and, you know, it just like brought the light back. But there was a oh. moment there where I was like, I am losing, like, I love, I love being with you, but like, 
you shouldn't take away someone's friends forever. Like that's that's tough. No, you, you know, can't. no, it's really tough. It's really tough. And I think it's funny because I, I and I'm really glad to hear that he has a lot of male friends because oftentimes. I, I feel like women are more friend centric, you know, and then mm. oftentimes like I feel like women lots of times have lots of friends and then they have their relationship. And then oftentimes guys are like they have their relationship. They don't right. necessarily get their needs met. They get their emotional needs met from their wife. Right. So I think it's great that he has that. But I and I know that, you know, you get stuff from your girlfriends that you ain't going to get from your Right. from your spouse nor should you it's just a different different vibe so it that's really fantastic is. that's fantastic well i'm so happy